So we work with kids um, a variety of ages, but the kids who are under six receive a different amount of funding than the kids who are six years and older. So the services we provide are slightly different, but still individualized, and all of the services are facilitated by an occupational therapist um, and a speech and language pathologist. Um, so our under six kids, they receive $22,000 of funding per year, and each year that money renews at the end of their birthday month. So when clients come into us um, at the beginning, um, the speech um, and language pathologist and the occupational therapist will do a joint developmental play-based assessment. Um, so we try to look at the whole child and try and figure out um, how they're doing in all different developmental areas. We also spend some time getting to know the parent and kind of talking with them and finding out what their priorities are and what their concerns are and maybe just to get that bigger picture of who the child is more than just during that assessment time that we see them. Um, once we kind of have a sense of what the parents' priorities are, we take that information um, and then we look at the outcomes of the assessment and we um, create some goals for the child. Um, we use all that information to create something called the Behavior Plan of Intervention, or the BPI for short, which is basically a fancy name for a giant document that has lots of goals in it. Um, uh, we run that um, BPI plan by the parent, um, and if they're okay with all the goals that got set, then um, we take all that information and create a binder for the child. And that binder contains goals in all of the, the uh, a bunch of developmental areas, depending on what those um, concerns were. Um, and it basically breaks down all of the goals into little tiny steps, so that we can learn how to work on those things in really um, small, little, achievable um, steps to work towards that end goal. Um, once we have all that set, we train the behavior interventionist, um, who essentially is kind of like that frontline worker with the child. Um, the behavior interventionist will, once we get up and running, spend two to three sessions per week with the child. Um, sessions are two hours long. And um, the really nice thing about our program is that we have um, a big team. We have the speech, the, uh, speech and language pathologist, the occupational therapist, a senior behavior interventionist, and one or two behavior interventionists for each child. And we all work in one building, which is really nice because it gives us a chance to stay connected every day, um, make little tiny adjustments to their programs and their goals if things come up. Um, if something's not working exactly as we need to, it's really easy to change something on the fly. Um, that being said, we do have a kind of a cycle of six to eight weeks where um, we ensure the clinical team, so the speech language pathologist and the occupational therapist, as well as the senior behavior interventionist, will um, go in, do a joint session with the child and their behavior interventionist, and go through the programs that were set and kind of make sure everything's flowing nicely and that um, no glitches have come up. If anything's come up, then adjustments are made, and the senior behavior interventionist um, kind of helps to facilitate those changes being made um, and follow up after the joint session with the OT or the SLP. Um, the, that six to eight week period is also um, the time when we're gonna have a team meeting. So every two months we all come together, including the parent. We review the programs and see what's going on. Um, we start each meeting by getting updates from the parent and kind of finding out how things are going at home, um, what's going well, what's not going well. If um, some issues have come up at home, um, we brainstorm, brainstorm through those and kind of troubleshoot as a team. Um, and then um, at the end of that troubleshooting, we'll then go through all the programs and the goals and make sure things are going well, um, take down the data, and then the parent gets a feedback report at the end of that meeting to kind of give them a written summary of how their child's doing every couple of months. Um, we have had a lot of children, especially this past year, going into kindergarten. And so that transition into kindergarten is a big milestone and a big change for that whole family and that child. Um, so naturally, that becomes the focal point of our support for the family. So um, leading up to that transition, kind of that year before they go into school, the school team spent some time um, getting to know the child and they came in and observed many of our children um, working within their programs um, and then our team and their 
school team were really working together to kind of um, <clears throat> share information about the child. So when many of our kids went into kindergarten, um, the behavior interventionist that knew them the best went with them for part of their school days in those first kind of days getting into the classroom, just to kind of ease that transition and to kind of help a familiar face um, transfer information over to their other team that they're going to be working with in the school. Um, so it's been really nice to kind of have that collaboration with the schools. So that's for our under six kids. Um, like I said, then there's over six kids as well, and they have only $6,000 per year, which is a much smaller pot than the younger kids. Um, so naturally the program's a little bit different, and there's a lot more variation in what we provide from child to child in that over six program, um, though it's just as individualized and still involves an occupational therapist and speech language pathologist kind of overseeing things. Um, but what we, prov what we provide for the child really depends on um, what meets the, their needs the best, what the parents want, um, and what kind of works for them at that time. Um, so we do a lot of collaboration and consultation with um, either the parents for home concerns or with the school for school concerns. Um, we, with some of our kids, will do blocks of sessions to work on very specific goals that are areas of concern that have come up. Um, this past summer we had a number of kids um, do an eight-week block of sessions to kind of work on a variety of um, skill areas depending on their their specific areas of need. Um, and these goals were set again by OT, SLP, but then were carried out by behavior interventionist. <clears throat>